The 36th Havana International Trade Fair opened with a small number of U.S. companies attending compared to previous years. The Secretary of Agriculture and Forestry from the state of Virginia explained why U.S. companies are looking toward the Cuban market. We've had sort of um, continued uh, relationship, strong relationship here. Um, we feel that's very important from, from Virginia. We want to continue to maintain that. In a speech at the fair, Cuba's foreign trade minister referred to a drop in U.S.-Cuba trade interest, but he also praised the setting up of the first U.S.-Cuba joint venture. We have made some deals with U.S. companies, like this historic step between the Cuban Molecular Immunology Center and New York's Roswell Park Comprehensive Cancer Center. The new company, the Innovative Immunotherapy Alliance, will advance research and development of new cancer drugs. We believe that if we're successful and we can generate positive data with these medicines, uh, we ultimately wish to pursue regulatory approval in the U.S. and make these medicines available to tens of thousands of cancer patients. The Cuban lung cancer vaccine, known as Simavax, already being administered on the island, will be the first drug U.S. and Cuban experts will research. The joint venture will be based at the port of Mariel inside the Special Economic Zone to the west of Havana, home to dozens of businesses from 19 countries. Even in current times, we see that there are avenues for joint efforts in the interest of benefiting both countries and achieving higher collaboration. This joint effort in the fight against cancer is a historic step forward in the field of bilateral relations between the scientific communities of Cuba and the United States. Luis Chirino, CGTN, Havana.